so I'm seeing on this fix that, you know, it just created another high low. So, you know, could potentially come up to 21.3, come back to 21, retest that, um, try to test 23. If it breaks out of that area, you know, it may want to retest 23 and then before it goes higher, another area to look for 26.9. Uh, 30, 31, 32 area, and then even 37 area. Yeah, so, yeah, around, you know, end of January, it was a lot higher the VIX. This is on a lower low. So it may just be a little little short term little volatility spike. And then as soon as this drops, the market is gonna go higher. It's uh, kind of uh, creating this uh, VIX, VIX treatment because of uh, the bonds. The bonds are spiking up. So yeah, it'll be interesting. Now if this drops a lot, you can see the market go up. Go start going up a lot. Because, I mean, we haven't really seen the volatility index this, this low, right? 19. So we start to see it a lot lower. Yeah, I mean, that seems pretty bearish. I mean, 2019 went down 11. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, I definitely can see it spiking to 30 and maybe 40. I mean, I don't know how high it's going to go. I think it might just do a little spike in the, in the now. Uh, test these areas before the market goes higher. Um, that's probably where we're going to see, you know, US 30, like want to go to 35,000 once these uh, volatility spikes. Uh, spikes they kind of go away based on the 10-year yield um you know rising too fast i'll show you the 10-year yield right so 10-year yields being going higher high higher high higher high so it's just been on a on a rapid run so we're seeing it you know you know back in in 2021 it was at 0 0.9 and now it's just spiking spiking you know so it's been on a big run 1.55 1.6 1 1.6 was definitely you know it was a, it was a lot for the market so i mean we'll see i mean if this uh this spike kind of dies out then uh you know that's definitely going to be easy for the market this is the higher high so you know we, we could see it start coming down here definitely interesting in the days and weeks to come but you're looking back from you know 2019 is and then the market's asking like are we gonna just be going in the long prolonged um, volatility spike um, and where this this bonds are just artificially high so I mean the bonds are gonna take a toll on the market so like are we gonna see this go to 1.5 and then spike up to like three in the in the next six to twelve months. Um, I mean, definitely, definitely something to look at. So that's you know definitely going to play into the market because if the market's too excited and it's not pricing in this um, a prolonged um, high yield environment, but now if they take care of this bond yields and we go back down here. Um, the markets, the market and the volatility index is going to go down. So that's kind of my synopsis and what I'm seeing with the volatility index. I definitely could see a short term um, pump up. You know, it's kind of got to take out this 21.9 and then retest and then going to go, you know, potentially break out 23 and then, you know, 26. And who knows, it could do another retest around here. Four goes, this is the one hour rate. So. You know, if you're looking for 
for daily or something like that, you know, you're probably going to look at 32 area, 38 area, where it could potentially go double. So we'll see. Anyways, that's just my little video. Thanks for watching. Shaka, peace, I'm out.